Hi, it's Anna back from the Rubik's Cube, and I have 50 subscribers. Alright, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to me. Uh, 50 is a big number and hopefully it will grow from there so uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be doing a giveaway but today is a really important announcement that I would like to make so uh, let's get right into it so first of all you can see my desk right here is set up for modding stuff and um, yeah so that just tells you I'm in the process of modding here's one of the cubes that I will mod but this is a second one to be modded the first one is in process right now but the reason I'm not showing it to you is because I would like to keep it a secret. Um, yeah, but you'll be seeing the process of that sticker mod uh, in a video that should come out after this one. I'm um, putting up part two of the sticker mod today, so you'll be seeing that. So basically, the reason why I'm keeping the cube a secret is because I want you guys to see it when CBC shows it on his channel. And um, so I'm basically keeping this first one where I'm experimenting with making new mods from the original Stripe Cube, kind of like a secret. And then from there, I'll just show my process of making different types of mods and stuff like that. But just for now, I just want to keep it a secret. And you might already think that you know what it is because of the first modding video. But since then, I've changed the design. And the reason for that is because the original design was no good. It was a dud. And I've had plenty of duds, trust me. So it's not really a letdown to me, but I that was the one I went the farthest with. Most of them were just ideas that would that were scrapped eventually. But this one was something that I had started, that I'd placed the stickers on, then realized it just wasn't going to work. It's important to realize that failure is an important part of uh, anything, and sticker mods especially, because uh, I just learned from that one mistake that Maybe that curves in the design is a little bit too much for me right now. I'm just starting. I need some practice with some other stuff, so that's what I'm going to be sticking to. And that's your first hint to what the new mod is, and which is it's not going to have curves. So, um, yeah, but again, not showing the mod. So, um, it's safe to show you what I have from the old project now. This is the finalized computer design that I made on the old leaf cube. And it looks pretty good, but in real life on the cube, it doesn't. So, just wanted to show you guys that. And also, the big announcement time. I um, put a lot of thought into this, and I decided to start selling my cubes. So I never gave official word on that, whether or not I would start selling them. But if anybody is interested, it's open. Send me a PM. Uh, I will be happy to make you one. And right now I'm thinking about $25. Um, I know that's a little bit much, but um, I've put some thought into that too. And for me, for it to be worth it to me, uh, I think I would have to do that because I need some wiggle room. Uh, mining supplies are not cheap, uh, but um, it's something that I hope to be doing for a long time in the future. Yeah, if you're interested in buying a cube, then I would be happy to help you out. And also, um, you are free to copy my designs if you would like to. If you say, oh, I like the Stripe Cube, and you think you can make it on your own, go ahead. I, I applaud that, so go ahead. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So stick around for part two of the uh, sticker mod that's coming out in the next video. And I want to thank you guys again for subscribing. Thanks for watching.